Hi everyone, I'd like to show you how to configure Q in Q. There are two types of Q in Q. Basic Q in Q, also called common Q in Q, is implemented based on interfaces. Basic Q in Q enables the device to add the default VLAN tag of an interface to a received packet. Selective Q in Q, also called VLAN stacking, is implemented based on VLAN IDs and interfaces. That is, the device only adds a VLAN tag to the packet that passes through an interface and matches the specified VLAN ID. Let's move to the application scenarios and configuration methods of basic Q in Q and selective Q in Q. First, let's see the application scenario and configuration method of basic Q in Q. As shown in the figure, company A wants to connect to the ISP network. The carrier allocates VLAN 1000 to company A, and departments of company A belong to VLAN 10 and VLAN 30. On GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 of the PE connected to company A, configure basic Q in Q so that the PE adds VLAN 1000 to packets received from company A. There is no need to change the networking and configuration of company A. Let's see the configuration procedure. Step 1. Create VLAN 1000 on the PE. You can run the VLAN batch command to create one or more VLANs. Step 2. Configure basic Q in Q on GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1. Set the link type of the interface to Q in Q. Run the port default VLAN 1000 command to set the VLAN ID to VLAN 1000 and add the interface to VLAN 1000. Step 3. Configure GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 to transparently transmit packets from VLAN 1000. The configuration of basic Q in Q is complete. Let's move to the operations. Log in to the device and enter the system view. Step 1. Run the VLAN batch 1000 command to create VLAN 1000 on the PE, that is, stacked VLAN. Step 2. Configure basic Q in Q on GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1. Run the port link dash type dot 1Q dash tunnel command to set the link type of the interface to Q in Q. Run the port default VLAN 1000 command to set the VLAN ID to VLAN 1000 and add the interface to VLAN 1000. Step 3. Configure GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 to transparently transmit packets from VLAN 1000. Run the port link dash type trunk command to set the link type of the interface to trunk and run the port trunk allow dash path VLAN 1000 command to configure GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 to transparently transmit packets from VLAN 1000. The configuration of basic Q in Q is complete. Let's check whether the configuration is correct. Run the display VLAN summary command to check the created VLAN on the device. VLAN 1000 has been created on the device. Run the display VLAN 1000 command to check whether interfaces have been added to VLAN 1000. The command output shows that GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 and GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 have been added to VLAN 1000. The configurations of the two interfaces are correct. Let's see the application scenario and configuration method of selective Q in Q. As shown in the figure, companies A and B are located in different areas. Data services of companies A and B are transmitted in VLAN 10 and voice services are transmitted in VLAN 30. 
carrier requires that data services of companies A and B be transmitted in VLAN 100 and voice services in VLAN 30. Data and voice services of companies A and B need to be correctly forwarded without changing the networking. Let's see the configuration roadmap. Configure selective QNQ on PEs so that data services are transmitted in VLAN 100 when being transparently transmitted through the ISP network. Configure PEs to transparently transmit voice services from VLAN 30. After the configuration is complete, data and voice services of companies A and B can be correctly forwarded. There are four steps. Step 1. Configure VLAN 3.0 and VLAN 1.0.0 where voice and data services are transmitted, respectively. Step 2. Configure selective Q and Q on GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1. Set the link type of the interface to hybrid and add the interface to VLAN 1.0.0 in untagged mode. Step 3. Configure GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 to transparently transmit packets from VLAN 3.0. Note that single-tagged voice packets and double-tagged data packets are transmitted on the ISP network. On a fixed switch, the VLAN stacking command can be configured only after the QNQ VLAN dash translation enable command is used. There is no such limitation on a modular switch. On some models of fixed switches and cards of modular switches, after VLAN stacking is configured, VLAN mapping must be configured to map the VLAN to itself from which single tagged packets need to be transparently transmitted. Step 4. Configure GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 to transparently transmit packets from VLAN 30 and VLAN 100. The configuration of selective Q and Q is complete. Let's move to the operations. Step 1. Run the VLAN batch 30100 command to create VLAN 30 and stacked VLAN 100. Step 2. Configure selective QNQ on GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1. Run the port link dash type hybrid command to set the link type to hybrid. Before running the VLAN stacking command on a fixed switch, run the QNQ VLAN dash translation enable command. Then add GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 to VLAN 100 in untagged mode. Step 3. Configure GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 to transparently transmit packets from VLAN 30 and configure VLAN mapping to map the VLAN to itself from which single tagged packets need to be transparently transmitted. Step 4. Configure GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 to transparently transmit packets from VLAN 30 and VLAN 100. Run the port link dash type trunk command to set the link type of the interface to trunk and run the port trunk allow dash pass VLAN 30100 command to add GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 to VLAN 30 and VLAN 100. The configuration of selective Q&Q is complete. Let's check whether the configuration is correct. Run the display VLAN summary command to check the created VLAN on the device. VLAN 30 and VLAN 100 have been created on the device. Run the display VLAN 30 command. GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 and GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 have been added to VLAN 30 and GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 is configured with VLAN mapping. Run the display VLAN 100 command. GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 and GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 have been added to VLAN 100 and GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 is configured with VLAN stacking. The configurations of GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 and GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 are correct. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. 
How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, all about switches, unquote, site, colon, Huawei.com. In the search field of Google, and click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.